guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to share my experience of ordering clothing pieces off of Facebook ads. If that sounds like something interesting to you, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. And wow, do I have a lot to say about these pieces. So let's get started. I rarely go on Facebook, but when I do, I like to just scroll the newsfeed and see what my friends are up to. Every time I'm scrolling through the newsfeed on Facebook, I see certain companies advertising clothing and they always make it look like it's this great bargain and they look really cute in the picture. And curiosity got the best of me. When I shop in a department store, especially a high-end department store, I am looking for deep discounts. I want to have a coupon that gives me a percentage off, some Kohl's cash, and it needs to be on a clearance rack before I will even consider it. But I'm not always just looking for what's cheapest. I kind of want it all. I want to pay as little as possible, but I want quality pieces. So when I keep seeing these Facebook ads, I wonder where they fall in the spectrum. I decided to take one for the team and place an order with a couple of these companies. My intention is to show you what these pieces look like on a real person and we'll also talk about quality. I'm going to tell you what my experience was from start to finish for each one, how long it took to arrive, if it arrived, if it looked anything like the picture, and would I deal with this company again. The four companies that I decided to showcase in this particular video were ones that kept tempting me. So I thought that perhaps you were seeing the same ads. And I'm actually curious about that. If you have seen ads pop up on your Facebook page while you're scrolling through the timeline for these particular companies, let me know in the comments down below. So I crossed my fingers and I waited patiently for the packages to arrive so that I could film this video. I got a pretty immediate payoff with the first package because it was clearly marked. It was from Zulily and it arrived in maybe be seven or eight days. The rest of the packages trickled in and at the time that I'm filming this it has been one month and five days until I received the final package. As the packages were arriving I couldn't tell many times what company it was associated with because of the way they're labeled. Let me show you a couple of examples. So for example, this package came from Wish and it does have the company name right here. So this one I could identify. This package also arrived with no clear identification as to which company it was from. This is what the top looks like that I ordered from Zoo Lily. This is $17.99 and this particular one is a size medium and I did go by their sizing chart on the website. This is a black with an animal print and then a contrast pocket and stripes at the bottom. I'm surprised at the amount of detail on a top for $17.99. This reminds me so much of some pieces that I've received from Stitch Fix. So this has a button detail on the back and these are not faux buttons by the way. This does go all the way through. The fabric has a really nice feel to it and I will show you the care labels. Here is the exact fabric content. And this, here are the care instructions. It is machine wash. I do a lot of front tucks because I'm only 5'4", and sometimes I really need that for waist definition. But with the particular pattern on this, I think I would be more likely to wear this straight out as a tunic length over leggings or jeggings or even jeans and possibly with some tall boots. I was trying to remember what this fabric reminded me of and it just struck me. This feels almost identical to a pajama top that I showed from Walmart very recently in a haul. It is a very, very lightweight shirt, but with that said, I do like the style and the pattern. So if you're looking for a lightweight layering piece, this might work out for you. So my overall impression of Zulily, I would say is positive. I did get free shipping. As far as customer service, I also found the Zulily website very easy to use and it was also very easy for me to track this package. I personally think this top is worth $17.99. It runs parallel to Walmart pricing. They have a tremendous assortment on the website and I know that I can't judge the company by just one top, but I wasn't sure how it was going to be and I didn't want to spend a fortune until I was certain. 
I feel pretty sure that I would order from Zulily again. The next company that I want to talk about is Rotita. This does not have a packing slip, so I had to look up online what I paid. This is the most expensive piece that I purchased for this entire video, and this was $33.76. I did get free shipping. This looked striking online, so I wanted to take a chance. Interestingly, when I went on the Rotita website to track this package, it was very cumbersome to try to use their tracking mechanism, and I just gave up after a while. Let's look at this piece. If I were to see this exact cardigan in a retail store, I think I would still be drawn to it, just as much as I was drawn to it in the picture on the website. So they really did represent this well with the picture. I just don't feel like the fabric feels very luxe, and especially for $33 and some odd cents. This feels more like a $19.99 sweater to me, and I don't mean to sound overly picky, but once something gets up over $30, I kind of expect it to be a nicer fabrication. I do like how this looks. I will wear it, and how beautiful will this be for Christmas Day? I had to come back on camera with this one also because I made a couple of observations when I put it on. The first one is that I wanted to immediately switch out of the black boots that I had on with the other top where I might look like Santa Claus. The red, white, and black was just really giving me that vibe. Maybe it's because the holidays are coming up. A couple of positives about this sweater. I do like the way it drapes and that it kind of has a rounded neckline that lays very flat and very nicely. The white really pops, which you'll see more on the try-on. I really like everything about this particular sweater except for the fabric. And I don't even know what the fabric is because there's no label whatsoever. And I went on the website and I couldn't find it either. I will say that if this were under $20, I think it would be more appropriate. I just don't care for the fabric of this one. And you'll see this a lot better in the full length, but I wanted to show you this up close. My overall impression of Rotita, the piece looks exactly like the picture. They have a lot of really attractive styles. I just don't know that the fabric content is where it should be for the price point. Would I shop from Rotita again? I might. Just because they have some really unique styles, I just probably wouldn't purchase higher end pieces from them if that makes sense. So let's talk about Wish, and I want to preface this by saying that in general I try to post positive, uplifting videos, and I nearly didn't upload this video because I have to say some negative things. But then I reminded myself of the reason I'm doing this video in the first place, and that is to let you know what my first-hand genuine experience is with each of these companies, right? I hope that if any of you order from Wish, you do not have the same experience that I had. Let me explain. Let's start with the two pieces that I ordered. I thought the pricing seemed awful low. One top was $9 and one top was $4. Now you may be scratching your head and thinking, what would you expect to receive for $13, right? But that's not even the point. When I looked at my credit card statement, Wish charged me $34.50 for $13 worth of merchandise. Now, I consider myself to be a reasonably resourceful person. I am also a patient person. So in my mind, all I had to do was contact customer service at Wish. Anytime you go on a website, there's always a contact us option, right? I thought I would easily work this out. That was not my experience. I went on the website, and after jumping through multiple hoops to even find a contact option, I was connected with, the only way I can describe it is a robot, that was having a conversation with me that had nothing to do with my question. My question was, why was I charged $34 for $13 worth of merchandise? The automatic responses that I was getting was, upload a picture of the problem, or here is the tracking number. It shows that it delivered. I was getting nowhere fast. When I finally found an actual email address, I was a little bit relieved because I thought, well, now I can deal with a human. As soon as I clicked that button, the robot came back, and I was getting pretty frustrated. So at this point, I've been overcharged for the items, I can't reach a human, and I'm arguing with a robot. 
but I am going to keep a positive attitude and I'm still going to show you these pieces and give you my honest opinion. So let's see what I received from Wish. So the first piece that I received, I have it in my hand. <laughs> I envisioned wearing this as a tunic length because I am 5'4 and nearly any top that hits someone else at the hip is going to hit me tunic length. I don't know if this was meant for an American Girl doll or an actual human, but this is the top. And the first thing that I notice is it is very small and very short. In addition to wonky seams, buttons that are sewn on crooked, sergered hems that are rolling. Uh, okay, let's stick with the positives. It's the color I expected. It's a lovely burgundy. Everything else about it, I just can't. <laughs> This is comically small. This, by the way, is a size medium, and typically I wear a solid, let's say, 4.6, a 4 on top in particular because I have narrow shoulders. Before I forget, I want to show you the care labels on both of these tops. As you can see, this burgundy one is allegedly a size medium. This, to me, is smaller than a size extra small. You can also see that they recommend dry clean only, and I'm pretty sure that the reason that they say that is because this would never survive a trip, even in the washing machine. And here is the fabric content. So I had to come back on camera just to talk about this top. I have unusually thin upper arms, and these sleeves are so tight. This is a size medium. All of the seams on this shirt are very wonky, it is also very short. There is no way that I would pay to dry clean this top. I do love the color and the style of it. I just wish it was better quality, but I cannot recommend this top. So, top number two. It's going to get better, right? Nope. <laughs> I am so sorry. I do not mean to sound so negative, but I have to show you this. I'm going to insert a clip of what I ordered. Take a look at this sweater. Doesn't it look cozy and luxurious and interesting? I love the scalloped hem detail. I loved both the gray and the mustard yellow that's so popular, so I decided to order it in the mustard yellow. And out of all of the pieces that I ordered for this entire video, this is the piece that I was the most excited about. Now we need to talk about why my excitement evaporated the moment I opened the package. The very first thing that I noticed when I took this out of the package. Again, very short. Okay, I'm 5'4", maybe I can work with that, right? I have to bring this in tight to show you because facing front and center is a huge snag right at the neckline. Let me show you. So my very first impression of this sweater was this. And I also have to say that in the picture, this fabric looks like it would be so baby blanket soft, and this is actually a very coarse knit. I would definitely not call this cozy at all. I wonder where their quality control was when this was being placed face up in a package. And here's the label for the mustard yellow top. The only positive thing that I can say about this is it does have a good amount of cotton in it, so that is a breathable fabric. It is not particularly soft cotton, though. It feels very coarse in my hand. If I were grading this top on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a 2 because it is machine wash and tumble dry, so there's that. At least they don't expect you to dry clean it. I like the style and the concept of this. The execution was just so poor. So I'm back with this top on. The fit isn't exactly atrocious. Again, I am 5'4", and it hits me right about at the hip level. When I look at it in the viewfinder, it doesn't look too hideous, even though it's a little bit boxy. And I mentioned before that the fabric doesn't feel particularly soft, but I want to come in close. So let's talk about the elephant in the room. The fact that the top came with a huge snag right in the front 
is very disappointing, but even if this weren't a problem, just the overall quality of this sweater, I feel like I would never wear this. I realize that I can take a paper clip and push this back through to at least get rid of this random thread. Quality issues completely set aside. This sweater just doesn't do anything for me in the first place, so I'm definitely not going to be wearing this. So you might be wondering what my overall impression of Wish is. <laughs> just kidding, I know you're not wondering. I absolutely will not deal with this company again. I'm still not even sure if I will ever get a refund or even get a response that makes sense. At the time of this video, it is not looking good. I cannot in good conscience recommend Wish. And the final order to talk about is from Sheen, and I have two pieces from them because I needed to meet the minimum requirement to get free shipping, and your girl does not pay for shipping because that just makes the item cost more, right? So in this instance, I made the exception and bought two pieces. I am going to bring this in closer to show you. They did include a packing slip. The pieces came in plastic bags, as I would expect. These plastic bags have zipper tops. This top that I'm showing you right now was $14. This is the second top and you'll be able to see it easier when I take it out of the packaging, but this one was $9. This is the first top from Sheen and I thought the color combination was interesting with the yellow and the gray and the white and it has kind of a color block. It does have buttons here that appear to be working buttons. This portion of it feels like a cozy t-shirt, but a very thin t-shirt, by the way. The striped part of this does not have the same cozy fabric. This has kind of a little bit of a cheap polyester feel to me. We'll see in just a moment because I'll show you the care label. This is the care label, and I have to admit that I'm irritated by it. When I was looking for pieces on the website, and on any website actually, I always look at the care instructions. I noticed when I was shopping on this website that the care instructions were hit or miss. Some of the pieces listed the fabric content, and some did not, and I believe this is one that didn't. And if it did, I missed it. If it was listed, it was my bad, but I would have never intentionally purchased anything that has the word dry clean on it. I wanted to come back on camera with this top on in particular to show you several things. This fabric is horrendous. I have shower curtains that feel nicer than the polyester of this part of the top. This part feels okay. It's just kind of like a super thin t-shirt. But I want to come in close to show you. There are so many details that are off. For example, the seams are not straight. How the stripe is here and then it's up higher. The buttons are sewn on very wonky and very puckery. I really like the color combination of this top. I love the yellow, the gray, and the white, but unfortunately this is a complete miss for me. And you'll be able to see this better when I do the full length try on that I run off to the side, but I just want to show you this part, the striped part, and you can see that it has kind of a shiny look to it. This is a tunic length, or at least on me, and I'm 5'4", so I will show you this all the way around. When I pulled this top out of the plastic packaging, the first thing that I noticed is that it looks pretty small and pretty short. Now, I'm not as concerned with this being short because I'm 5'4", and I almost always have to front tuck tops just to give some waist definition. So for me, at my height, I don't think this will be an issue, but I do want to point out how short this looks, and this is not intended to be any sort of a crop top. The fabric has a surprisingly nice feel to it, and it actually is a little bit thicker than I expected. This is a classic raglan sleeve. It does have a scoop neck. I like the combination of the floral and the crisp jet black. I'm going to bring this in tight to show you a few details as well as the care label. I will say that I like this pattern a lot. I think it's pretty, and I think it really pops against the solid black. Here's the fabric content, and I'm always happy to see cotton up toward the top. I think it makes it really breathable, and it kind of explains why this has such a nice feel to it. And here are the care instructions on the other side. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I put everything in the washer and the dryer and hope for the best. I'm curious to see if this will shrink in length 
because as I mentioned when I first showed it to you, it looked short to my eye, and that's coming from someone who is short to start with. I wanted to come back on camera with this top as well. When I look in the viewfinder, I think this top is so pretty. The floral print really pops against the black. It has a nice feel to the fabric and a scoop neck. However, I, I am only five foot four, and the way this is cut at the sides, as soon as I lift my arm, bare skin is showing, and that is a non-starter for me. I cannot imagine anyone over around 5'2 finding this to be the appropriate length. And it's a real shame because I think it is so pretty and I really like the feel of the fabric. I may keep it just because I can front tuck it and kind of hide that little muffin top there. But if you are any taller than 5'2, you are going to be hard pressed to make this one work for you. My overall impression of Sheen, unfortunately, is not very favorable, and I can't picture ordering from them again. They do take Ebates, which really surprised me, because any website that lets you use Ebates makes the cost of the item even less, right? So that's a definite plus. And they do have some really cute styles, obviously, because I ended up purchasing two pieces from them. However, I found their website to be very cumbersome and not user-friendly at all. I was unable to track my package whatsoever. I noticed even when I was shopping on the Sheen website that the description information was hit or miss item to item, and I found the inconsistency odd. One item would show the fabric content and the care instructions, and another would have none of that information. That was kind of a red flag, but I was already determined to do this video, and I'm glad that I had this experience. I still had a lot of fun trying out these different pieces, and now when I'm scrolling through Facebook and I see these ads pop up, I'll know which ones have the quality pieces and which ones look really nice, but really aren't worth bothering with. So let's talk about my outfit of the day. A lot of the time when I'm cleaning or cooking, I will have QVC on in the background, kind of just listening to it. And if they talk about something that sounds interesting, then I'll step over to the screen and see what they're talking about, right? And that's how I ended up buying this Susan Graver top. It sounded interesting, so I stepped over to the TV and yada yada, now I have it on. If I can find the item number, I will link it down below. I did buy this recently. I've been on a kick with wearing brown lately. I guess it's just fall kicking in for me, but I love the v-neck of this. It is a tunic length. The thing that really made me buy it though were these fabulous bell sleeves with this light and airy fabric in the animal print. I'm often drawn to tops that have special detail around the sleeves and this was no exception. I love this animal print and the way that it's placed with this particular bell sleeve where it's higher up on the arm right so it's not going to drag in everything like the black top that I showed in my Stitch Fix try on. It also has the same trim all along the bottom and I think that it looks very pretty and very flirty and very feminine. With this top I paired it with a pair of flat front pull-on Liverpool jeans that I got from Stitch Fix. I paid way too much for them, but I will say they are very comfortable, and I like to wear a flat front pull-on jean with a tunic top so that you don't see all the working mechanisms of the jeans, the buttons and the snaps and the belt loops. I want to avoid that and get as smooth of a look on the tummy area as possible. The shoes that I have on are a pair that I picked up off of a clearance rack. They're by the brand Arizona, and I chose just a really light sand color for those. And then to pull out the color, the lighter color in the animal print and the shoes, I pulled a vest that I've had for a couple of years. Of course, I don't want to cover up these pretty sleeves, but if I want a little bit of warmth, I didn't want to put a jacket over top of it because then you can't see the sleeves at all. So I decided to go with a vest. And is Michael Kors. Make no mistake, I did not buy this at a Michael Kors store. Nothing against him, I just can't afford to shop there. I lucked out and I found this at Marshall's and I wanna say that I may have paid $29.99 for it either last season or the season before. The jewelry that I'm wearing, big surprise, Walmart clearance rack. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I shop at Walmart frequently and I especially love their clearance jewelry. If you haven't watched any of my Walmart hauls, by the way, I will try to remember to link a couple in the cards above. I'm actually going to step in closer so that you can see these earrings. I paid $1 for these. I love these so much. I bought these in the spring and summer, but I could tell to look at them that they would be a great fall piece. 
These are from three different sets of Walmart clearance bracelets. I wear these all the time. Also, while I'm in tight, I want to show you the animal print that's on the sleeves and all along the bottom of this tunic length top by Susan Graver. I love this animal print. I think this is so pretty. And Kayla, if you're watching, what do you think of this top? Kayla loves her some animal print. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.